sometimes the coaches get that mediocre player to play average, the average player to play good, and the good player to play great. If you do that, then you're going to be successful in coaching it. Tony Dorsett. Boy, did he hit Robert. Earl Campbell is strong. Here goes Earl Campbell. He knocked out Robertson on his back. Rocked out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Of Curly Cobb, he's ready to play a big game, and he makes a big play early. When the games are tough, Curly is exceptionally tough. Holiday greetings to all pro football. Larry sideline, the knee and ankle injury. He can only offer support today. First down, Houston after the fumble at the 50. Larry, he almost had to be a native Texan to remember the last time the Oilers had a winning season. Now the Oilers went into the final game of the year searching for a missing ingredient and with respect from the fans. So many had taken and I'll believe it when I see it attitude before today, but now that's all changed. The Tennessee Oilers, that sounds funny, doesn't it? For years we've been talking about the Oilers and it was always the AFC. It was always the Houston Oilers. In fact, when the AFL started, they were one of the original teams. door meetings that could open the door to football in Houston. Tonight, a record-breaking bid is on the table. Houston's play for an NFL team. Tonight's big story. Good evening, everyone. Cam Brell is in for Bill. In just a matter of hours, we should know if Houston is getting the 32nd NFL franchise. Our big story tonight, Houston's NFL shot. After three hours of meetings, league owners started the countdown clock for a critical decision that may hinge on a $700 million proposal by Houston businessman Bob McNair. Watch second of the game at the 15-yard line. 